Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today I want to shoot with the Polaroid SX70. Um, I know I shot with my Polaroid SX70 sonar. Um, I shoot out all the time, but I don't really shoot with this one that much. Um, I just wanted to see, test run it out and see see how it shoots. Um, I've actually shot with this once. Uh, I, I do know that the, the light meter, um, it is different than on my SX70 sonar. Um, these pictures tend to come out a little darker, a little more than my uh, SX70 sonar one step. Uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure why, um, but usually um, I know Polaroid on their website, or well, I think it's still under. Um, but anyways, yeah, I, I know they say to keep it at uh, one third of a stop um, with their film. Um, but this, with this camera, I did that, and the photos came out like really dark. So I tend to keep my uh, my light meter in the middle, just right there. As you can see it, um, because the photos come out really dark if I turn it to the dark side, um, like Polaroid suggests. Um, which is another thing, really. Um, I know Polaroid's like making some of these tips. You know, they're like, "Oh, do this always with this camera or with that camera." Um, but I think uh, you know the thing is, is you really have to get used to your camera. All Polaroids aren't the same. They all shoot differently, um, such as my SX70 and my Sonar One Step. Like the light meters are different. Um, and you would think that they, they're they the same, but no, not really. So I think that's really the main thing about shooting with instant photography is you really got to get to know the camera first. So yeah, you really just have to experiment with your film. Um, that's what I've been telling people recently. Um, people have been um, coming up to me asking questions on how to uh, perfectly adjust the lighting condition or how to get vibrant colors. Um, really, yeah, yeah, you just had to experiment. And I've gotten help. Uh, I got a lot of help along the way um, from when I first started shooting. And that's, where, that's really what I'm doing, just giving help to those people. And believe me when I say you're gonna get a lot of failures because you are. Um, you can't shoot instant photography without experiencing at least one failure. Um, I've gone through it all from underexposures to overexposures, um, film ejections, lighting conditions, all that. Uh, you're gonna at least experience one of those unless you research it first and do everything you know. Um, but I still highly think it's possible that you're gonna experience at least one of those things. Um, so yeah, you really just have to just gotta keep shooting, experimenting, um, writing down things, making sure that you know um, everything about your camera that you're shooting with and everything about the film you're shooting with. Um, so I think that's really important about instant photography is to just experiment. So keep that in mind if you're ever wanting to get into instant photography and just get help from people who, who already shoot with it, such as myself or many other people. <laughs> so the Polaroid SX70. Um, I do have a film shield for it, as you can see right here, which is this, that the frog tongue, the frog tongue um, that um, keeps the, the film away from light when it's ejecting out of the camera. Um, and I am going to be shooting with regular color SX70 film. Um, yeah, this is made in 120, so about six months ago. Um, this is when this was made, so hopefully the colors are still nice. Um, it should be. So let's get shooting, I guess. So about the Polaroid SX70, it is just a regular SX70. Um, it, it's, it is much like my Sonar One Step, but except it doesn't have the Sonar autofocus. Um, it, it's all manual focus by the lens right here. As you can see it, hold on, the lens, hold on. Yeah, the lens is adjusting once I do that. Um, other than that, it's pretty basic. You know, you got your light meter, the shutter, um, and you have your viewfinder on top. As you can see it right there. Um, so yeah, let's go get shooting with this. And here we have it. Awesome. So yeah, um, to load up an SX70 is just like any other camera. You know, you have your film, put it in. Um, so one thing um, I wanted to say is that the ISO is 160, so I don't need an ND filter on top of, of, in, of anything. Uh, so yeah, this is a SX70 camera and I'm using SX70 film and so once you have your film in, you just close it. And there you have it. So I am just going to get a shot of the look, the view from outside my window, so yeah. Alright, I'm going to try and take a self-portrait. Um, I know these things weren't meant for taking self-portraits, or maybe they were, or maybe they were. Um, who knows, you get to shoot with it when, however you want. Um, so as you can see, the frog tongue is keeping any light from going into it. And so now, just let this develop. And 
and now I'm gonna get a picture of the slowly dying sunflowers. This is also really good um, because I get to have, I get to adjust really close uh, to get much more detail instead of using um, a fixed focus lens um, such as the Polaroid uh, 600 in my last video um, and any other Polaroid 600 <laughs> really because they, they can't adjust the, the lens unlike a Polaroid SX70. So yeah. I'm actually going to take a picture of this uh, just to see how vibrant the red is on the new Polaroid film. So, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, uh, time to get a shot. Um, also, um, you guys have heard wondering what this is for. Um, like I said in my last video, this is actually to keep the film door closed because there's actually a part in here that's broken that can't keep the, the film door closed. Um, so hopefully it's somewhere in here, um, sort of like a latch, and so it won't it won't keep it closed, so I have to use tape, so that, that kind of sucks. Uh, now I'm going to try and take a picture of one of my favorite album covers. Um, yeah, I really like this album and the, the, the cover art for it. <laughs> it's really nice. I'll say I hope this goes well. For my last shot, I'm just going to get a picture of the sky. Because why not? It should be good. <laughs> It's all eight shots. Nice. So I just got done shooting with the Polar Desk 670 and I like some of the photos really, um, but some of them do have, they could be better. <laughs> um, such as the one with the leaves, uh, or I took a picture of the tree. Um, it obviously um, focused on the sky in the background rather than um, the, the leaves itself. Um, but other than that, um, I, I guess it's it's all right. It's, it's still cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think my favorite photo of the pictures that I took would actually be the one with the mirror portrait. Um, I like this one a lot. Um, I really like the how sharp it is um, with, the, with with the camera. And yeah, I think this one's a personal favorite. So yeah, um, I definitely have a lot to learn about this camera. Um, I still have to shoot a lot with it in order to to get, to get really um, better photos, better quality photos. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say about this camera other than it's nice, you know, it's nice to have around, but I'd rather shoot with my Polar S670 sonar. Um, but I kind of just wanted to shoot with this camera to show you guys um, um, how the picture quality comes out. And yeah, I think it's really nice. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is a shout out to my friend Paige. Um, she, her grandma actually gave this to me. Um, I think over back when I was still in school, um, after we came back from our break from back in December, yeah, um, she gave it to me, so I think that's really nice. So thank you Paige for the camera and your grandma. Um, it's no surprise to some of you that she's new. She's not new here. Um, I definitely, I did a video about her back when I was still in school in January. Uh, I can roll a little clip right here. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um, there's not really much to say. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are doing fine out there. Um, oh, one thing I want to update you guys on is my school. What's going on? Um, I don't even know if I'm, I'm going to go back. Um, they're only using 50% uh, of the capacity of the dorms over there. Um, and they're prioritizing it to some students. Um, I mean, which sucks. It kind of sucks a little bit, but... Um, whatever if I stay here, it's cool too because uh, my friends they're getting an apartment um, Somewhere near where I live uh, like an hour away and I could they said I could live with them uh, for some time not all the time um, But yeah, I'm really excited to, to do that my best friend Zoe That's who her and my other friends are getting an apartment together. I think that's really nice. You know, we get to hang out um, It's 
it's sort of like living on our own, something we've always dreamed of. Um, something we've always we we've always looked forward to when we were like in high school, and so I'm really excited for that. Um, and so hopefully that happens. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you to each and every one of you who are making me go, um, keeping me up and running for you, by you guys watching my channel. You know, just keep on sharing it, keep on enjoying it, and I hope you guys are doing well out there. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for next week's video. I might consider taking a small break, um, but that's not usually me. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, and have a good day. Later.